Yes, sir. <laughs> Can't stop the flock. <clears throat> Turkey hunting celebration. Hey, turkey hunting celebration once again. Smoking two old sad daddies. Once again, I can't tell you how important it is to get our kids involved in the outdoors. And that's exactly what Clint Schwalk does as he heads to Rawhide Camps in Kansas. They're sitting there, not a whole lot going on right at daylight. Clint keeps working the magic on the lynch mob box call, and boom. the bat, here comes two old sad daddy longbeards coming in. Hey, they answering the lynch mob calls. Gus and Creed are getting a show. Shoots and the turkey be Nothing quiet. like big old long Lynch mobs. Called them right in, baby. It's windy. Rawhide camps. John and Heath Westine. I told John, I said, you better have breakfast ready by 8 o'clock. What time is it? It's uh, 7.13. 7.13. Looks like we on time. <laughs> Let's get a shot. Oh, boy, you rocked it. Ooh. Yeah. That shell hit me right in the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was wow. fun, boys. That was Awesome, huh? Lynch Mob makes an awesome box call. A little single sided call right out of the box, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Boy, them two just hammered right up here above us. A couple of soft yelps with the mouth call, and they come on down the hill. It's youth season, and uh, I'm tagged out. He's tagged out. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. I love it. I don't yeah, care if I'm it. shooting. Or watching them die. I love it. What a turkey hunting celebration. Clint's there with the two boys. Hey, it don't get any better. Thanks, Clint, for all you do for us. And also a special thanks to Rawhide Camps with John and Heath. You guys are top of the line. Nice spurs. Pretty good spurs on him. Yeah. Was that fun? Awesome. <laughs> gotta, gotta love it. It's you season here in Kansas, Rawhide Camps, John and Heath Wetstein. Big thanks to you guys. Yeah, appreciate awesome it. Awesome turkey hunting properties, awesome. deer hunting. Yeah. And these, these birds showed off this morning. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, bam. <sighs> Look at the baby. Oh, yes. <sighs> now we're headed to South Carolina, the Palmetto State, and this is going to be. Grandpa Bert and his grandson Parker. And boy, is it a great hunt. This is my first time shooting my new shotgun. Bert gets Parker out there in that ground blind and they practice right out of the ground blind in a hunting situation right there in the yard. All right, relax. Tight against your shoulder. Squeeze the trigger. Make sure you're down all the way on it. Don't flinch, squeeze. I think that was a good one. I think you nailed Daddy him. Kicked so bad. No, I think you nailed him. All right, what's the first thing you do? Take your safety off. 
Parker is six years old and it's his first hunt. And here's Grandpa Bert capturing all the action. Well, Bert and Parker are hunting on the family property there. It's about 20 acres. And I'm telling you, they get in there and things start happening quick. Bert's working the lynch moms and the DSDs are doing their job. Next thing you know, Parker, what have you done? Shot a turkey! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> All right, Chick, take your shell out. Okay. And let me just tell you right now, Bert, you done an awesome job bringing out the personality of Parker. Man, what a personality and what a hunt that is. A special thanks to Grandpa and Grandson, Bert and Parker. They do a lot for Respect the Game TV, and we're glad that you are part of the virtue. Blessings. Good job, buddy. Can you get him? Are you gonna pick him up like that? That's the only way I can. If you can get him up in my arms. Well, let's see if you can hold him over your shoulder. Can you oh hold him gosh, like that? No, remember I tried that and it fell off me? I'm just gonna check on him. What you gonna do? You gonna carry him like that? You got him? Yeah. You got him? Finish. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my I think you might need some help. Camex crossbows, built like no other. Now let's head to the land of Lincoln, Illinois with my good buddy, TJ Unger, who is the media marketing manager. Couldn't do it without you, buddy. With his beautiful niece, Isabel France. So we are headed on our very first hunting trip together. Uh, Isabel is my goddaughter. We're headed down to Southern Illinois uh, for their youth season turkey opener. So uh, we've got her out here. We're running through some of the safety features on the shotgun and really just shooting a few times back here just to make sure that, that we're confident with everything. How'd it go? Great. Yeah? It really did, How yeah. sore is your shoulder? Not really at all. Really? Yeah, really. Good. Hey, girl. Hey. Ready I am so excited. I've been ready to go since this morning. <laughs> TJ runs by the school, picks up Isabel, and off to the land of Lincoln, Illinois, they go. <laughs> we ready to go. Ready? Yeah, you guys? Ready. Girls. Boys and girls are ready to pull the trigger, huh? Well, they're going to be hunting with our good buddy Brad House at Illinois Whitetail and Waterfowl. I'm going to put one around one elf and one the other elf. So. Maybe a little tired, but I'm excited. 
excited to see you. Now keep in mind, this is Isabel's very first hunt ever. Well, if y'all know anything about Southern Illinois, you know you're gonna have to deal with oil rigs. Sounds pretty good, yeah. I think. <laughs> we're sitting in here tight. Isabel's running the calls, and we're gonna hope to see some birds come out. We always set up straight out front about 20 yards out. That's the exact distance that you've been practicing at, mm -hmm. so. We got high confidence. We just need to get a bird out here. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. Keep after them. Hey, they yanking and cranking on the lynch mob calls. Not a lot's going on there now. And then boom, all of a sudden, not one, not two, not three, but four old sad daddy longbeards right into the DSD decoys. About I don't even nothing. know what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just happened. I just killed a turkey. You just killed your first turkey. I mean, <laughs> that's you insane. Did, you did absolutely perfect. I watched you actually lift up your gun a little bit. Yeah. Like it was just a little bit off or mm -hmm. something. Are you shaking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> you got your first bird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the turkey hunting celebration, I mean, is taking place. Hey, Dad. Hey, Ed, what's up? Uh, I just killed a turkey. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel, first thing, calls her mom and dad and tells them, and they're tickled to death for them. Hey, um, we were just calling to see if, if we had the Easter menu already mapped out. If what? If we had the Easter menu already figured out. Why? Oh, did you get a turkey? <laughs> I shot a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand, this is her very, very first hunt ever. Let's go get him. I yeah, let's, let's go. go. Oh my gosh, I'm still shaky. <laughs> Not as bad, but like still. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still shaking. He is a stud. Look at the size of his head. So, these are those spurs. That's what they fight with. Those guys right there. And the older they get, the sharper they get. Feel how sharp that is. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? So when they when they hit that decoy, that's what they hit him with. So we'll go over and look at it in a minute and see. But he's got a great beard on him. Look at that rope. What an absolute stud of a bird. You got your first turkey here in Illinois. 
Look at That's that. That's beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the first day, the Illinois youth turkey season, and all three kids got the big old sad daddy gobbler. So slow down, small town. Don't let those city lights burn you to the ground. And let me have my run around out on those old back roads. Y'all, just tell me if this is not a very touching hunt. Just look at these kids. Look at their faces. Look at Isabel giving thanks and praying to the good Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to come out here and uh, meet some great people and be with some amazing people. Um, thank you for creating this world and creating its beautiful animals. Thank you for everything we have and everything we receive. Um, all the farmland's gone up for sale Silos can no longer be seen That kind of town's just a memory They traded water towers for small skyscrapers Digitized the local paper Put in a four-lane interstate just The kill is just minute to everything else. Get your kids out there in the outdoors and teach them educate them, inform them, and have fun with the entertainment. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Brad, and everyone involved for making this happen. Give me back my fishing hole, the one that's up to